We know COVID-19 is particularly risky for older people or anyone with pre-existing health conditions. The American Heart Association has recently come out with a warning targeted to those with heart conditions. Our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is going to break it down for us. Uh, Pyle, good morning. In the spirit of social distancing, you're helping out uh, us this morning remotely. Nice to see you. Yes, good morning. Good morning. So we're talking about this being a lung virus. So what do we know now about what it does to the heart? Well, this was a very interesting statement from the American Heart Association because what it told us is that the receptors that the virus uses to get into the lung cells are actually also present on the heart cells. And these are called the ACE2 receptors. So because these doorways for the virus are present on heart cells, this virus is actually causing damage to heart muscle in many different ways. And that's what this statement's telling us. Wow, and if it affects the heart, are the symptoms now different? Yeah, so interestingly, because we thought for the longest time that this was only a respiratory virus, we found that there are a subset of patients that will present with heart-only symptoms. And these are people that are unlikely to have that fever, cough, and shortness of breath we've been talking about so much, but instead they would have chest pain and palpitations. And then if a doctor got an EKG or checked a blood test, they would see EKG changes or the blood test would show that there's been damage to the heart muscle. Now this is a minority of the patients because the majority of people will still have that classic fever, cough, and shortness of breath. But as we're learning more about this virus, this was a very interesting finding. Yeah, this is also interesting. Actually, someone in our newsroom came up to me on Friday and said that they're using a certain uh, heart medication and was asking if that now has to be changed. So for people taking certain heart medications, um, what's your advice to them? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're a little bit actually not sure what to do in those people. So this medication is called an ACE inhibitor mm -hmm. and, and it's like lisinopril is one type of ACE inhibitor. And what it does is it increases the expression of that receptor, those doorways that I've been talking about. But on the other hand, it also protects the lung during times of lung damage. So it's sort of like do two wrongs yeah. make it right? And that's the reason the experts are a little bit divided about whether to stop it or not. The latest guidelines to doctors have really been to continue the medicine because even though it increases those doorways for the virus, it actually does protect the lung if the virus does get in. That's really interesting. It's like a catch-22 in yeah. ways. Uh, what, so, you know, right. what new information does this give us in understanding the virus? Because we're learning new things every day about it. Yeah, I think this gives us a lot of very interesting new information. So what the, the people in the study did is they checked the blood test to look for a marker called troponin, which tells us about damage to the heart muscle. And actually 7% of people with COVID had damage to the heart muscle. 22% of the people in the ICU had damage to the heart muscle. And what we learned was that 12% of all these patients never before had heart disease. So even though we've classically been talking about heart disease being kind of the high risk marker and leading to complications, a lot of people who've never had heart disease, including young people, could potentially have damage to their heart muscle, either temporary or permanent, you know, if they contract COVID-19. And this marker, the troponin, which tells us about heart damage, was actually a predictor of mortality. So it helped us to know which people were likely to do better and which people were going to do worse. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much.